Treating the symptoms of anxiety is one thing, but wouldn't it be better to be able to get to the root of your anxiety once and for all? My name is Megan Begg, and I have over 10 years of experience working in the mental health field, and I'm here to share some of my favorite holistic strategies that address all of your anxieties, both in your body and in your mind. So tip number one is mindful breathing. Here's the beauty of mindful breathing. It's like hitting a pause button when anxiety is yelling at you. When you focus on your breath, you're grounding yourself in the present moment. You're shifting your attention away from those racing thoughts and bringing it to something constant and calming. Here's how it works. Find a comfortable spot, close your eyes, and take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your chest and your belly rise as you fill your lungs with air. Now exhale slowly and completely through your mouth. Keep your attention on each breath, the inhale, the exhale, and the sensation of air moving in and out. What's awesome is that mindful breathing taps into your body's relaxation response. It tells your brain, hey, things are okay, no need to go into full-on panic mode. Whether you're stuck in traffic, waiting for an appointment, or feeling anxious before a big presentation, you can do it anytime, anywhere. Tip number two, nourish your body. Eating well is great for your body, but it shows your mind some love too. Here are a few ways you can feed your body and calm your mind. Work on balancing your meals. Having balanced meals with lots of fruits and vegetables helps stabilize your blood sugar levels, preventing energy crashes and mood swings. Also drink water, drink more water, and then drink some more water. Dehydration can lead to feelings of stress and anxiety. Remember, it's not just about what you eat, but how you eat. Pay attention to how different foods make you feel and listen to your body's cues. For me, what I do is I meal prep in the beginning of the week to make sure I'm eating more whole foods and less processed foods. Tip number three is movement and exercise. Moving your body isn't just about getting fit, it's about boosting your mood and calming those nerves. First and foremost, find what you love. Whether it's jogging, dancing, yoga, swimming, or even hula hooping, choose an activity you genuinely enjoy. When you're having fun, exercise becomes something you look forward to rather than a chore. Remember to celebrate the small wins. Every workout, no matter how short or intense, is a victory. These mini celebrations can boost your motivation and reinforce positive habits. For me, what I like to do is go outside, uh, spend time with my dogs. I also uh, work out at a gym and love to swim at our local pool. Tip number four is mind-body practices. These techniques weave together your thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations to create a beautiful harmony. Imagine it as a way to treat your whole self inside and out while managing anxiety. Some types of mind-body practices include meditation, yoga, and tai chi. These practices aren't just quick fixes, they're long-term tools. By practicing regularly, you're reshaping your brain's response to stress, making a bona fide anxiety warrior. Keep in mind that what works for you might be different from what works for someone else, so don't feel pressured, pick what you like. Things like this do not need to be something that take a long time. It can be something as quick as a two to five minute break, walking to the back of a room, taking a couple deep breaths, or just checking in on yourself in between meetings. And tip number five is connect with nature. Spending time in nature can have a grounding and soothing effect on your mind. Here are some of my favorite ways to connect with nature in a way that will calm down anxious thoughts and feelings. Have you heard of forest bathing? I know, I know, that one sounds weird, but hear me out. It's not about soap and water, but about taking a slow, mindful walk in a forest or park Breathe in the fresh scents, listen to the rustling leaves, and soak in the sights and sounds around you. This practice is backed by science. It can actually lower your stress levels and make you feel happier. When you spend time in nature, you give yourself permission to step outside of your anxiety and start feeling connected with the world around you. If you don't have a big trail or forest near you, what you can do is take your shoes off and go on a barefoot walk and just focus on the steps that you're taking. So in conclusion, dealing with anxiety holistically means that you are taking care of every part of yourself and nothing is left behind. If you wanna learn more information about substance use or mental health treatment options, then go to sandstonecare.com or call the number below. We'll get to know you and your specific situation so that we can connect you with the support you need, even if it's not with us. Change is possible and Sandstone Care is here to help.